Hey guys, this is Cole's Cast, and uh, today we're here with Colin and Jimmy talking about pets, more specifically uh, lizards. Uh, today we're just going to jump right in, uh, talk about something that people tend to get wrong, which is uh, tank size. For leopard geckos, tank size for juvenile, you could do get away with 10 gallons for a baby, but as it gets older, you probably want to upgrade that to, uh, to 20 gallons because of room they like a lot of room but not a lot of height so maybe a 20 gallon long tank would be ideal uh Colin, you have a snake you said so uh mm -hmm. what's that gonna be well right now i have a 70 gallon and i'll probably upgrade to 150 gallon why because you're down, okay like eight feet long okay okay another thing people like to get wrong mixed up especially with leopard geckos is the substrate now i tend to use a uh, substrate called eco earth it's just this brick of purified dirt that you soak in water for 30 minutes and then it's good to go immediately after that. Jimmy, I think you use EcoEarth, right? Or Yes. And then Colin uses the same thing also? Yes. Yeah, very highly recommended EcoEarth. Uh, quick and easy for substrate. And unlike sand, if it accidentally eats it, then uh, it won't get impacted in the stomach and then you won't have problems later on with eating. Uh, speaking of eating, uh, moving on to what you should probably feed your lizard or snake. Uh, many people at pet stores nowadays just say crickets work most of the time for liberty geckos. But uh, some other things you want to switch to uh, every now and then include dubia roaches, mealworms, waxworms, and hornworms. Because uh, you want to you want to get variety in their diet. They're insectivores, so they only like to eat bugs and stuff. But switching up the bugs every now and then really will help out their diet and you know, it better for them in the long run. Uh, Jimmy, what do you feed? Mostly crickets? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Colin, what do you feed snakes mostly? Pinkies or the little baby mouses that barely have fur on them. Okay. And then do you have treats for them every now and then, like as a different type of feeding treat? Uh, not really. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so for snakes, you know, pretty strict. It's standard. But lizards, you definitely want to switch it up every now and then. And uh, I remember, too, the uh, day I came home with all the stuff for my lizard, uh, it was not easy getting it past my dad. My dad and my mom definitely were not very anxious with it at first. Uh, they definitely thought that I couldn't handle responsibility, but over time they saw how invested I was. And uh, I don't know, uh, they kind of grew to it over time, and now it's pretty much like a part of the family. I go up there every day, bring them down, play with them a little bit. Social interaction is very important because it builds trust and uh, whenever you have to do something in the tank, maybe like a major cleaning, doesn't freak out the lizard every time you put your hand in there. But Colin, how much, how long, or have you, how often do you take your snake out? Once or twice a day. Okay. What about you, Jimmy? Well, like, yeah. like, well since I have two, I take each one out like every other day. Okay, every other day. Okay. So I take one out every day. Okay. And then, yeah, me, I try to take one out, or mine out, every day, at least, because it just, it benefits so much, and it's, it's fun, you know, holding a tiny little creature in your hand, it's just, it's fun to have, very, very recommended you have a pet, but, uh, definitely, uh, I would also say that it's a big investment, big investment, big responsibility anyways, because having to put a lot of money into that tank, the tank is gonna cost about what? 30 35 maybe even 40 bucks just for the tank then you have lighting dirt decorations water bowl food every week at least it, it, it costs a lot that's why you, you know you have to be prepared for it and you have to know that you want one because i just i started getting my stuff over a period of two years and eventually i had enough things to finally go and buy my leopard gecko but what happened to you Colin? did you buy everything in one day or did you save up i bought everything in one day mm -hmm. but i bought like uh two like a couple of plants at pet smart did you start to buy stuff after? Yeah. yeah. Well, I bought the tank with some decorations, and then I bought like two others. So I had for like a week or two. What about you, Jimmy? Did you have stuff beforehand, or do you have to go buy it? And I just bought it when I got done. Okay. So yeah, a lot of people can help you out if you want to get everything the same day. But I would definitely recommend doing some research, making sure that you want the pet, and making sure that you know that you have the money and the time and the responsibility to take care of that pet. But uh, that's pretty much all the time we have. Thank you for tuning in to Cole's Cast, and we'll see you next time. Amen, brother. Bye-bye. Uh,